It's the Amanda Show. Featuring Michael Mo. I guess if you want to be featured. So I like to use this lip balm called Rosebud Salve. Dude, I tried Isaac's pre-workout today for the first time. It was so weird. What was it? It was the... Why are you walking like that? You're like waddling. <laughs> I did a lot of legs today. Yeah, I took the C4. I had to like ask one of my friends because she does like competitions and stuff, but she's also vegan. She has like a vegan vlog. That's the same one that she used. So I was like, okay, I guess I'll just try it. After like 10 minutes, my fingers started to feel tingly and I just wanted to like scratch my face. I was about to ask you if you felt like you were ripping your eyebrows out. No, it just like everything felt tingly. My face felt tingly. I felt like I was having an allergic reaction to something. It's a combination of the beta alanine and caffeine. You can take beta alanine by itself and you won't feel like that. But does it help with like the performance? All it really serves as is a lactic acid buffer. Mm -hmm. So it allows you to exercise longer before the lactic acid builds up too much where it starts oh. to get too sore. The difference isn't really significant unless you are extremely competitive. Do you use pre-workout? Like not at all. Do you even have pre-workout in this home? Do you want to see what I have? Yeah. Do you want to show everybody? Do you want to show everybody? I can. I guess we're doing it. All right, what's over here? All right, so I got some beta alanine, branch chain amino acids and glutamine, or branch chain amino acids without glutamine. It's this uh, purple looking one that's cute and it says vegetarian on it. <laughs> Rhodiola rosea. This is an adaptogen and it's for gains. There's stuff on your fridge that like, I really like. Is this Sasha's doing? Yeah, that's hers. If only meant, true. Also, also true. true. <laughs> How'd you know I was gonna say that? How'd you know? <laughs> Because it's the Amanda show featuring Michael Moe. It, what am I gonna say? Not true. Man, I'm running wrong. I was gonna say true. Hey guys, thought I'd check in with y'all. Happy Tuesday. Today is a really nice day because, well, it's not really nice because I have a metabolism test today at two, but because today is lunch power day and my group is off for this week, we have the whole morning freeze. I was able to study this morning. I made myself a smoothie bowl. I'm gonna go to the gym in about an hour. And right now I'm, um, I should be studying, but I'm kind of like mentally saturated right now with all of like metabolism stuff. So I decided to take a break so I've been doing other work, you know, just to refresh my mind and I've actually been working on my rotation documents and stuff that I need to do, like contact my preceptor. I'm actually about to contact one of my preceptors right now. I wasn't really going to vlog too much today, but I decided, you know what? Why not? Arsh is in group two, so she hasn't been here all weekend, which is like kind of sad because I love her so much. Me and Arsh, like we established that we were pretty much soulmates. <laughs> That's my little check-in for right now, and I will catch you guys on the flip side. I'm about to get water right now from downstairs because we're out of water, but let's just take a look at the ghetto-ness and the laziness of myself. I've grown up doing this, and my whole family does this, and I feel like it's just like a Asian thing. Does anybody else do this? Okay, I have to show you guys something, but you have to promise you won't laugh at me, okay? Like, promise me you won't laugh. Ready? Boom. <laughs> So I tried, I was like really craving pancakes because I've been watching a lot of Nikki Blackader's videos. I've literally just been been watching like her new videos, her old videos, whatever. And um, this actually doesn't even look half bad. So she makes a lot of waffles and pancakes. And I was like, man, now I'm craving waffles and pancakes. And I have not made pancakes here in this dorm. So I decided to try it. And all I did was blend together like oats, this Vega Sport Protein Powder. I didn't expect it to be like that delicious and honestly it's like not even that good tasting so I'm not even gonna share the recipe with you guys because I'm kind of ashamed when I tweak this pancake recipe or when I come up with a really good one I will share it but right now this is just like in the works I also didn't really have that good of a spatula to turn it over with so it just ended up looking ugly so I covered it up with some bananas and frozen berries and like this chocolate sauce the pancakes literally look like poop like if you went in a forest and you stumbled on some poop this is what it would look like you know covered with this chocolate drizzle and the bananas and the berries it doesn't look that bad not bad after my test i did some emails and then i came back over to my room i literally laid down to like go on my phone for a couple seconds and then i ended up taking like a 20 minute nap out of nowhere and then i woke up and i was like oh my gosh i have to read a book or i have to read one of my chapters so i read that chapter then i decided to take a shower finally because after the gym i didn't have time to take a shower before i went to go take my test because i wanted to make pancakes now i am just going to eat and then probably write up some more notes Nothing is really due for that class, but since I have nothing else really to do today Like there is no assignments due tomorrow or projects or tests So I kind of have like a free day That's why test days are really nice because after that test 
the rest of the day is yours and you have one less class to worry about for that day because you don't have to study for any more tests and then the next time that you have to worry about that is next uh, the next lecture which for me will be next Monday so I basically have this time to worry about my other classes and nothing is really due for those classes and I already got one thing out of the way for the other one so it just really feels nice to be productive and to be on top of things the biggest tip that I can give you guys is make a list of priorities and get them done as soon as possible if you have free time make sure you look at that list and say okay now I gotta do this now I gotta do that and then you can check that off and then it feels really good checking off something in your list list emits dopamine in your brain so when you do something and you check it off your list it makes you feel good and then motivates you to do more and you get more shit done and then you don't have to worry about anything or fall behind and I really hate the feeling of falling behind so this is definitely a method that works for me helps me get stuff done helps me utilize my time properly and it not feel too swamped by things in school so yeah time to go uh, make dinner because I'm like very hungry. I never call him Michael and like everyone calls him Michael. Everyone calls him Michael and I'm always like, Mike, 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 Mike. What day is it, Mike? <laughs> Hump day. Except this Thursday. It's Thursday. Anyway, what I was saying is the gym at 1 p.m. is a beautiful thing. Literally nobody was there. I have a test in two minutes and I'm not even wearing a bra yet. I feel like crapola. Arsh. Arsh crapola. So in case you guys missed it, Actually, you did, because yesterday I filmed a Why I Eat In A Day video, but for a different video, because I thought it'd be cool to do separate. Arsh was sick all day yesterday, so this whole room was dark, and she was sleeping, and now she has a test in probably seven minutes now. Yeah, it is seven minutes now. I kind of like wearing my hair like a low pony. It's kind of cute. Plus, I don't like sweat that much when I go to the gym anyway. I got here my post-workout smoothie. I'm watching some Brian Turner, and I'm going to put all this laundry away because I did laundry before... I went to the gym. Actually, I did laundry before I went to class and then before I went to the gym. I don't even know what I'm saying. Okay, I'm gonna do laundry. make nice cream because she had like was it tonsillitis yes tonsillitis. your dad was like ice cream would be good because it'll like cool down your tonsils and i was like girl do you want some of this magic i got and she was like no i'm just gonna make nice cream and i was like do you want some ice cream dude i got one the other day your freezer is like heaven oh, oh it's my like goodness loaded gracious. in here bro this fudge brownie yeah, people have really suggested this too because in my other vlog i was like what flavor should i get yeah, it was bomb. And then people mentioned this like, chocolate fudge brownie. It's like huge brownie chunks, dude. Huge brownie chunks. I've gone through a lot of it. Sasha and I like Holy legit. Holy crap. Yeah. Yeah. Sasha and I legit just sat in the car and just devoured it. I am honored to know you. He has a friend now. Look at them. They look so cute together. Aw. We still have to do a roommate tag video. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yo. What's up, Dad? Scared, scared? We're going to, what would Veronica's home be considered like? It's a uh, recovery home to take refuge for women who experience domestic violence. Therefore, it is not optimal to have male figures present in the area. However, we are dietetic students. And he also has a ponytail, so he's disguised. For our community nutrition class, we are broken off into groups and we have to do presentations at public places, I think. Just, Just like a public community area. Yeah, a public community area to give information about nutrition and health so we are not presenting but another group is presenting so this is where they are and this is where uh we are uh thank you again for coming like this is wow this looks beautiful and then add the beans we combine them and then so we mash the beans it's just finished and my wisdom tooth in the back it's growing in it's like bothering me now like sometimes there'll be spurts of that gnawing feeling man yeah i know little babies i feel you I feel you right now with the crying and the needing to bite everything because... Uh, apples and bananas, hashtag baby feels. Ah, uh, I just want to like... Uh. But now we're going to Target or something because I want to buy tofu and I think Isaac wants to go Target. Alright, found the tofu. Which one do we want to get? I think we want to get firm. Is there an extra firm? I guess firm's good enough. 
I swear that pink is not my favorite color, but for some reason, I always end up choosing to wear a fuck ton of pink. Like I'm wearing this, just came back from the gym, this pink sports gym bag. Today, I was wearing, let's take out my bag of clothes, pink shirt, pink kimono. Look at all this pink, like seriously, it's kind of overwhelming. But I swear, pink isn't my favorite color. I also chose to write my grocery list in pink. Maybe low-key it is my favorite color, but I just like won't admit it. I don't know how, it's a Christmas miracle, but I managed to make pretty-ish looking pancakes. Look at that. What an improvement from a couple days ago, huh? Doesn't even look like poop, looks like poopy colored pancakes. Look at this, I'm like so proud of myself for this. Still gotta perfect it, so no recipe yet. It's pretty good right now, but I wouldn't call it perfect. I'm at the school district office to meet with my preceptor for this summer's rotation. And I'm late because I couldn't find the building, but I found it. So here we go. I just came back from grocery shopping, right? And I just realized that I got all Kadia. Katia um, items without even realizing. I guess I'm also naturally inclined to not only wearing pink, but also buying the same brand. Also, I just wanna show you guys. Yes, we are going to try this tonight to end the Friday vlog. Being clean and showered and then getting straight into comfy clothes, one of my favorite things in the entire world. This music is too loud. The dinner that I'm about to make is going to be the meal that I've had for the last five days for dinner this week, so don't be surprised. <laughs> Let's do this. I'm so excited. Cookies and cream used to be my favorite ice cream flavor. Same! So good. But now it's like mint chocolate chip. I actually have a lot of different favorite ice cream flavors because I'm like, oh yeah, mint chip too. I love mint chip. Or like mocha almond fudge. I think I have like seven different favorite flavors. The one I hated was Rocky Road. I love Rocky Road. I hated it because I hate marshmallows. Okay, this is pretty good. I might like the other one better though. I hope you guys don't hate me. Caramel toffee one has like a salty component to it. I don't really taste the salty component too much, but I do love the peanut butter. Oh, you've never tried it? Mm -mm, I haven't tried this one. I'm just like inviting myself to your ice cream. This is a little scoop. That's what she took. It was really hard. Mm, I think I like this one better than the other one. Yeah, this definitely tastes more like you. I like this, but I think I like the toffee one better. Or the caramel almond one. It's just like the toffee one gets stuck in my teeth. My only problem with it. Mmm, yeah. <laughs> 